We're talking about tipping. In this season of giving, what are the rules for who to give to and how much to give? With more on this constant holiday conundrum, we are joined by lifestyle and etiquette expert, Elaine Swan. I love that title, etiquette expert. Okay, so let's start with <laughs> holiday tipping. What is a customary tip right now? Because a lot of times you see those things even for, it, you know, when you're out the, uh, trying to pay a bill and it's like starts at 20%. Yeah, it's starting at 20%, and, and I think that has so much more to do with just the technology that's being used right now, the devices. I mean, we used to have the cash register that you put the money, you know, put it in, but now there's these devices that give the suggestions. And so tipping right now, the starting point is, is has creeped up from 15% to about 18% for your average tip nowadays. Okay, so average tip is 18%. Uh, then, of course, we have to factor in inflation. How does that change the tipping rules? Well, inflate the way inflation changes the tipping rules is that folks now need to really start looking at tipping based upon what works best for their budget, most especially during the holiday season. Now, of course, if you're in a restaurant here in the United States, it's still very standard, 15%, 18%, 20% or more uh, for a, a restaurant. But uh, if you're tipping during the holiday season, then this is where the new guidelines for tipping that I love to share right now is, is what comes into play and it really helps people as we're dealing with inflation. So what are those? The new guidelines are to tip what I refer to as the 20, 30, and 50% rule. So let's say, for example, you pay somebody a regular, for regular service, you can tip them 20% above what you normally pay if their service was good throughout the year. If their service was great, then you would tip 30%. And if they provided excellent service, then it would be 50% or more. It can be all the way up to double what you would normally pay. It just depends on the service that they provided for you as well as your own personal budget. So for example, like, I, so I just went and got a haircut today, right? And I was wondering, should I bring them a nice. gift? Should I give a tip? I mean. I give a tip every time I go in there anyways. Should I have given a bigger tip, which I did give a bigger tip, but are you saying I should have given a 50% tip today? If they, it, listen, if that person fits you in and you at the last minute throughout the year, they stayed late for you, opened early, gave you extra services, whatever they did, if the service was exceptional, you can give 50% or more should you choose to do so. Now, if you choose not to or you cannot just because of finances, then this is where, yes, a gift is absolutely acceptable. The key that we have to think about for holiday tipping is to really focus on showing a tangible manner of thanking a person for being there for you throughout the year, providing you with, with wonderful service. And it, it's just a way to say thank you. And if you don't have all of this money to spread this cheer, then a gift is, is absolutely acceptable. Okay, so do all these rules apply to people like the male man or male woman, the person who delivers your newspaper in the morning, lucky people who are lucky enough to have a gardener? Same rules apply? The same rules somewhat apply. Now, when it comes to the mail carrier, there's no tipping allowed at all because these folks are federal employees and you're not allowed to give them money. It's actually against the law. However, you can give them a gift that's up to $20. And so that's what the federal law says. Now, when we're talking about the gardener, our pool cleaner, the dog walker, anyone that you pay on a regular basis, that's where these particular t uh, guidelines apply. Interesting. I don't have a dog. I don't have a dog walker. I don't have a gardener. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But <laughs> so you're some, people, save a bunch of money, honey. some people uh, watching currently do. Uh, yeah. Elaine, thank you so much. Uh, so I guess the, the, the idea is to give uh, when you can. Uh, she earned a 50% tip. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs>